today we are driving the OLS, the ordinary list square. You are given an equation like this one. I hope you understand what this e is an error term and these are variables and this is y. Okay. The next thing we need to do we need to start forming we make e the subject of the formula and uh, that is what we get when we make e the subject of the formula thereafter we go to step two that is squaring the both side and that is what we get then we go to step 3 that is summation of that equation we got that one we squared already we do summation of step 3 step 2 I mean there it is we have added the summation to the both sides then from here we go to the step 4 <laughs> in this step we look for the first order condition of this in order to minimize the numbers the sum of squares that is by using a chain rule okay let's continue we differentiate the summation of e square in respect to bo from this formula this working here then since bo is in that bracket and there is a square here it looks hard to do so we make we put we we make everything in the bracket to be z then this is what we will have as z or z the way you say it okay now our differentiation will be d summation of e squared all over dz so this equation will be like summation of e square is equals to summation of z squared so these two comes in front so we will have 2z if you follow the differentiation rule That is what we will have. So we differentiate in respect to z, we get 2z. Then dz db or we get negative 1 from this formula, from, from this equation, I mean this is constant which is zero this is constant which is zero here is raised to negative it raised to one times negative one here you will get negative one so to get what we are looking for which is the summation of e square all over d b o is equals to d summation of e square over dz times dz over dbo which is what we got here 2z times negative 1 which is negative 2z then we go to the next step which is step 6 I think we open what was in the bracket so if we are opening it will be summation of y 
minus this one is just the number n b o the number of b o minus summation of b1 summation of x is equals to zero last step we make summation of y to be the subject of the just make it the subject so y is equals to and b which is beta minus beta 1 summation of x and there we are done with our equation one subscribe for the second part of the equation